come visit us. Come to the sea, come to the swamps in the estuary. Come visit us. Come to the sea, come to the swamps in the estuary. Beach and Mango Swans was proclaimed in 1977. It aimed at giving the public a little piece of heaven. It's a nature reserve with plants and animals. The nature of the reserve is to conserve its reptiles and mammals. All the crabs run around like a game of Scrabble. So take a tour. It's easy. You can handle and come dabble. Visit the plants, animals and sparrows. Our estuary gets polluted as it filters the waters. We conserve and keep it clean so bring your sons and daughters and peers. For a plastic bottle to decompose it takes 450 years. Mother Nature will be upset and shed many tears. There's different ecosystems that survive in the planet. Beechwood got lost, Beechwood has it. The red clawed mangrove crabs are shy and solitary. They live in the shade of the black mangrove trees as a territory. The crabs don't eat meat. When the leaves fall to the surface, they pick up the vibrations and have a treat. The yellow leaves is what they eat. The burrows go 1.5 meters deep to escape the heat. And if they pick up your vibrations with your feet, they will retreat. But there's others to compete. The Tango Man won't do the tango with man. Its plan is to capture red clawed mangrove crabs with its hand. Or should I say pinscha? The Tango Man is the largest crab creature. When they're ready to spawn, they seek the sea. Shake the eggs loose in the waves and return to the territory. The white mangrove trees are considered the pioneer and land claiming species. Their roots spread from the base horizontally as it sticks up in the air as it reaches. These pencil roots that stick up in the air provide extra oxygen for the tree. The incredible root system provides stability through rough seas and bad weather. The leaves are smart to prevent fresh water loss and are as thick as leather. However, we get the black mangrove tree as a secondary colonizer. In the shelter of the white mangrove trees is where they reside. The roots also grow horizontally from the base. The salt level goes into the leaf which leaves a salty taste. It turns yellow and falls to the base. The roots look like elbows or knees. You will find cigar shaped seeds that grow on the trees. Falling down into the ground it starts fertility. This is how the root system generates. It gives them a better chance to germinate. Now we move on to the dude with a cool shell. It's the most charismatic creature called the climbing whelk. It's soft body and hard shell. Their movement is like a water well as they go up and down as the tide rises. They live in the mud surface but spend most of their time in the trees. Go to the swamps and as you per roost, you might come across a creature called the water mongoose. They're shy and small and don't live in big groups. In the water and land is where they move. They eat crabs, eggs, insects and frogs. If you see them in the water, they will look like a water log. Another crab to bring to your attention is Mr. Fiddler Crab with a sneaky intention. It has one large pincher or should I say claw. They often fight with each other and it look like a hardcore war. They wave their claw to attract mates. They also have a smaller claw and that's their fate. From the fiddler to the skipper, mud skipper. It skips quicker when things get thicker. They glide over the water and are well camouflaged in their facade. They breathe through gills and are about 7 cm large. They swim, skip along the surface of the mud. They are amphibians and of cold blood. Mud crabs are scavengers and cannibals. They will eat anything they encounter. The large claw is a crusher, the small claws are the cutter. When it's time to defend, they drop a claw and can run around the bend. A new claw will grow back in 3 to 4 months. The red mango trees are in the vicinity of the water courses that cut through it. These proper stilt roots form a tangled root mass at the base of the tree. Their fruits are torpedo shaped and fall from the tree down to the soil of fertility. Another small friend to meet is a dwarf chameleon. They are a threatened species and are not in the million. They are about as big as a 5 cent piece and hard to see during the day. At night they climb up the trees to play. So they go up the stalks at night and appear white when a torch is shone on them. They come up when it's cooler, unlike the Nile monitor, who runs on land very quick. He has a tongue that sticks out, shaped like a fork. Claws are sharp for climbing in defense, hence. They grow up to 4 to 6 feet in length. So come take a tour. I hope you can choose. You might even spot one of our banded mongoose. 
They grow up to 12 to 16 inches long and have a large tail. Now to our more primitive family of beechwood. It's a vervet monkeys that sometimes up to no good. They're scavengers and want to eat at our picnics. They have large teeth and eat fruits and meat. Troops are well-defined territories and mom are the providers. The next animal to see is a blue diker. They dive into the bush and have large eyes are. The females being larger, they have good hearing to avoid danger. Another stranger and we're glad to have it is our shy little cat, the large spotted Janet. It's slightly smaller than a house cat. The swans is the perfect habitat because they feed off insects, birds and eggs. They have elongated body with short legs. So come visit us, come to the sea, come to the swamps in the estuary. So come visit us, come to the sea, come to the swamps in the estuary.